Dale Mann, who served time for a deadly hit and run, has been arrested again. Jeffrey Sosha now faces several charges, including DUI and possession of pot. News 8's Tina Detail has that. This is where the horrible accident happened. Fu Quan Lu was in this crosswalk when he was hit. The hit and run was captured on Mohegan Sun surveillance cameras. The car hits the casino worker in April 2008, never slowing down, never stopping. The then 22-year-old Jeffrey Sosha was arrested after police received a tip from a woman who knew him. He was sentenced to 20 months behind bars. A few months in jail, he's going to go right out and do it all over again, you know? And you're taking somebody's life, somebody's mother, father, sister, brother, something that you can't get back, but you can get your driving license back, you know? It's not right. On Sunday, Sosha, now 26, was arrested again, among several charges, driving under the influence. No one answered at his Oakdale home. We have also learned that in January 2009, Sosha was arrested after crashing an SUV into a tree. And... In December 2009, Sosha was arrested right here at the Monville Barracks. State police say he drove here to bond out his father, who had been arrested for issuing a bad check. His license was suspended at the time. It's got to be a lot stricter. These drivers we spoke to at the DMV in Norwich say offenders need to be behind bars longer and behind the wheel less. Still, they don't know if that will help. I don't think you can ever stop them. Like, I don't. That's their own personal choice, and that's the unfortunate end of it. So, you know, if you're going to be dumb, that's your choice. Yeah. Being in jail isn't going to help anything. Maybe some kind of program or some kind, you know, something on their license. Sosha is still serving three years probation for this accident. In Uncasville, Tina Detell, News 8.